Okay, let's see what we have here. All right, I have my Exif tool. Okay, in this particular folder, and I have two picture, JPEG. Right. One is a picture of myself, and the other one is something that I got uh, randomly from the internet for this particular example. All right. And over here, I have the same thing, same folder. So I'm just going to list the directory. And of course, you can see both the JPEG, the JPG, All right, over here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run the EXIF tool. All right. On one of the JPEG. Let's say I just use this one. And of course, uh, as expected, uh, Exif to actually extract and show the metadata. All right, so you can see the metadata all over here. All right, nothing new over here. Okay, but what I would like to do now is I would like to add. All right, I would like to add a new, okay, field or metadata with value into this list so if you look into this list uh, there is no metadata called comment or right, c-o-m-m-e-n-t and i want to add the one in all right so exif2 okay comment all right uh, please take note that not every single uh, metadata field can be added in because that particular file must be able to support that metadata itself. So uh, JPEG can handle command. So I have a dash command and I'm going to give it a value. So let's say I give it the value jet. All right, and the file that I want to work on will be this file, the file that I just just displayed. Dot jpg. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, so it says one image file updated. All right, let's see whether it updates correctly or not because this is just a response. So I'm gonna show the exif tool again metadata using the sf2 on the same file that i've edited just now and okay right over here you will see a new command metadata command and the value is jetweek with a space All right so the adding of the metadata assigning a value is successful but that is not all i want to show today okay what if i have 2000 picture if i i'm going to do this one by one uh well if i have a lot of time maybe okay but i'm not that hard working so let me clear the screen and display this file again this folder you will see there is one more file created called limjetwe jpeg original so whenever you edit uh, a new uh, backup will be created for you before they actually change so this is a very nice little feature okay now i'm gonna do the same thing as what i did just now but with a little change firstly i'm going to run exif2 command i'm going to add in this few command and i'm going to change the the command value let's say like this 
okay sorry okay let's say like this so the command is not just jetwi the command will be my full name lim jetwi but i want to run it against more than one jpeg or jpg so uh wildcard star dot j pg okay i, I haven't hit enter yet but let me explain what is going to happen or what i hope is going to happen firstly uh number one there is two jpeg file all right one jpeg file has the command uh, metadata and it should take the new hopefully it should take the new value updated so the previous value command inside there jetry will be gone replaced by vinjury then the second jpeg that i have inside this folder or well, because i only have two jpeg file is supposed to add the command metadata and this value which is the value lim jetry inside that at the same time so if this work even if i have 2000 uh, particular jpeg inside the same folder i should just use one single line of command so let me hit enter it tells me uh two image up file updated i only have two image but if there is 2000 you will update all 2000 but again uh you will create the original files see you can you will create some you will do the backup of the original file before you actually make changes to it now let's view the content so if i were to do an exif2 on limjetv jpeg let's see the command okay the command is here and it has taken the new value limjetv so the previous value is already updated what right, so the previous value is gone you will replace totally but what about the other one the other picture the dash p o e t e s s dot j p g okay let's see if it has a command yes it has a command and again it takes the value lingerie so which means with one single value one single line of command i can actually ch change all the jpeg pictures in the same folder so if i have 2000 of them just dump them all 2000 of them in a folder all right one command will change all of them okay i hope this basically will reduce a lot of your work